Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? It's all day 0511. Back out here in another video. With the NBA season right around the corner, starting on October 18th, we're going to name some of the guys who I think are probably for sure getting traded or who have the highest chance of getting traded before the NBA uh, start, or uh, before the start of the NBA season. Now, in this video, I will go ahead and let you guys know we're probably not, we're not talking about Kevin Durant, we're not talking about Russell Westbrook, we're not talking about Kyrie Irving. Uh, and or Donovan Mitchell. Do I think some of those guys are getting moved? Yes, we're just talking about some of the guys who I see will get moved right now before it started the NBA season. And I also want to put this out here. Some of these trades I feel like would have already been made, already moves already been made if the free agent or the trade market wasn't so high right now. You guys have seen Rudy Gobert get moved to Minnesota for what a lot of people think was an overpriced haul. Well, that set the market. And now you got guys like Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook is not even in that category, but you guys get what I'm saying. You got some top key guys on the free agent market or in the uh, trade market that teams are kind of waiting to hold off for before trading or before signing guys to bigger contracts. Because if you guys don't know, without getting too deep into it, signing guys to put big contract hard caps to team, you really can't move everybody, you lose your flexibility with a lot of this. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the first guy up at hand. First guy up at hand we have is Colin Sexton, man. Colin Sexton plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Shooting guard, Colin Sexton is a dog, man. Um, I think it's kind of weird that he hasn't been given a contract yet. There's a lot of different factors going into it. If you guys haven't seen my last video, feel free to go watch it. Uh, if I remember, I'll definitely link it down in the comment section. But Colin Sexton was reported that Colin Sexton wants about $20 million, a deal starting out with $20 million a year. And it's been reported that Cleveland offered him something closer to like three years, $40 million, which is a little bit over $11 million a year. Uh, which just puts him a little bit higher than the mid-level exception. Uh, I think one of the main reasons why you won't see this deal get done or I don't see a deal getting done with Cleveland is that um, I just think that the two parties are in different categories. I think Colin Sexton, I think Cleveland views Colin Sexton more as an expendable piece uh, with them trading for Karis LeVert, also signing Ricky Rubio in the offseason. I mean, their guard play is just kind of like there. You know what I mean? Like they kind of have their guards set up i just think that you know cleveland just feels like they was able to get cleveland feels like they're they gonna be able to get the same production without paying them 20 million dollars um i don't really see you one letting him walk away but uh, i think cleveland definitely thinks that they can and it'll be all right without him and colin sexton i believe that the reason why he hasn't signed with them is because he feels like he's definitely valued more than 11 million dollars which he is because there's other teams out there that would offer it to him but colin sexton is a restricted free agent so in order to see a deal like this get done, you will probably have to see a sign and trade, uh, almost like last year with Lonzo Ball to the uh, Chicago Bulls. You have to see. You'll probably see a deal like a sign and trade that has to get done. That's the only way that I really see Colin Sexton going to a different team. I don't think Cleveland just lets him walk without anything because they know that he has some type of value in the market. And this right here is going to be one of my number one ranked trades. I think this is something that we should keep an eye on, and uh, that especially with him not still not having a deal yet this late in free agency. But anyway, going to our next team, we also got Miles Turner. Uh, actually, I'm gonna package these two guys together. I'm gonna talk about both of these guys. Miles Turner, Buddy Hill. Um, Miles Turner, Buddy Hill. I think that both of these guys. Miles Turner is definitely a guy. That's, Miles Turner's been in trade for agency for like 10 years now, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm being honest. Miles Turner stays in trade talks, uh, and I think it's not because he's a bad player. I just think that he can just help contending teams right away you know he's kind of like that that glue piece in my personal opinion um buddy Hill also has been linked to some trade if you guys haven't really seen recently the lakers were entertained in it or lakers were uh, connected to that trade with russell westbrook from miles turner buddy Hill, and i think they won the lakers 2029 pick which uh i won't get too deep into that probably have another video coming out talking about that a little too but uh, teams I see Miles Turner going to. I didn't really do this for Colin Sexton because, like I said, it's a sign and trade thing, so it's kind of really hard to say who he should go to. Uh, like, cause like it's not really up to his decision. At the end of the day, he's restricted free agent. But uh, some teams I think Miles Turner would fit in is I would actually go with the Washington Wizards. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wizards tried to make a play. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wizards didn't try to make a play for all these guys on here just because they're just trying to get that team, especially with Bradley Beal committing long term like that. I think they're just trying to figure out ways just to get talent on that team. Figure out ways to get talent on the team and then you figure out how to build around that later. Uh, you know, if you have to, you trade them off assets. But 
I think you watch Miles Turner. I think Miles Turner can go to the Wizards. I think the Brooklyn Nets will also be interested in Miles Turner. I think Miles Turner could really go to just about any team in the NBA. Um, he's also linked to the Pelicans right now. I don't see the Pelicans making a trade for him. Um, Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill's a great shooter. I think he's just a little bit overpaid. Uh, and I think that's what a lot of teams are going to be kind of hesitant on because when you look at Buddy Hill, it's like you probably can get there's other guys out there that you can get for the same value as Buddy Hill without having to break the bank as much. Uh, some teams I link Buddy Hill to, any team that needs a shooter. <laughs> like I said, Miles Turner and Buddy Hill are kind of weird guys because it's, it's kind of like one of those, if, I feel like it's one of those things that you don't know where they'll go to just because they're kind of a plug and play guy. You know what I mean? You can send them out just about anywhere. And um, any contenders, you know, definitely can use those guys. Uh, next team we got up, or next guys we're going to package together is going to be Kobe White and Patrick Williams. Uh, Kobe White and Patrick Williams is definitely a weird. We're not going to get too deep into these guys. Uh, Kobe White and Patrick Williams, I, I don't really see them moving, but there's definitely been some talks uh, with the Bulls about trying to get this team better. Some of it has been DeMar DeRozan. I don't think you moved DeMar DeRozan. I think you moved those younger guys first to see if you can bring in another veteran key, another uh, key veteran to come in next to next to Lonzo Ball. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, you know, Zach Levine, and I, and I think a lot of their success for the Bulls is going to be on Lonzo Ball being healthy. And uh, <clears throat> if Lonzo Ball is healthy, I think that you see their success, or I think you see them hit those strides that they thought they were going to hit when they brought this team in and went into the luxury tax to pay for this team, especially by offering Zach Levine all that money in the offseason. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we'd seen Kobe White, Patrick Williams uh, for the Bulls look to upgrade, but I think that this deal might be off the table right now reason being is that the Bulls just went and got Andre Drummond I think the Bulls just kind of waiting to sit it out just to see what goes on right now but I definitely believe they're picking up the phone calling for some of these guys to see if it, any of these guys are available but um last guy on our list man is going to be Mike Conley Mike Conley for the Utah Jazz uh Mike Conley for the Utah Jazz Mike Conley had a pretty alright season for Utah Utah was just weird last year man they just they really underachieved all the way around um you know, we always know Utah is pretty decent in the regular season, uh, pretty good in the regular season. And we kind of was just expecting them to come back better. But with the Rudy Gobert drama, the Donovan Mitchell drama, and Mike Conley was kind of like the only guy that was just kind of like quiet in the locker room. Also, Mike Conley had some injuries last year. But um, Mike Conley is going to be a guy that's on that list just because of how Utah is, man. I mean, Utah is literally upside down. Um, you know, they just traded away Rudy Gobert. Donovan Mitchell looked like he's on his way out. They don't really look like they're in a, any type of mode of contention right now. And I think that Mike Conley is a guy that you're going to want to try to move to try to get assets. And Mike Conley is definitely a guy, a well-respected guy around the league. I think Mike Conley has kind of got that same type of trade value as Chris Paul. I'm not saying that Mike, Con Mike Conley and Chris Paul have the same attributes, the same ability. But I think that Mike Conley brings that point guard presence or that veteran point guard presence that teams were looking for when they was doing that. When uh, Chris Paul was a free agent a couple years ago. Uh, what was that, a year and a half ago, two years ago? But also not before he became a free agent, but also when the trade market opened up when he left uh, OKC. But um, I think some teams that you'll see wanting to go after Mike Conley is definitely going to be the Lakers. Uh, Lakers going to be factoring all these, man, just because they're, they're desperate. I think the Lakers is going to be a team that you should watch out for. Um, really just any team that needs a point. I think any contending team needs a point guard. It, like, this list is really weird, man. I'll be honest because it's just a lot of teams I can't really say who I think it'd be connected to just because it's kind of, like I said, the whole trade market is just upside down with Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, and all. You know, you got some high-key guys on there. A lot of teams want to kind of keep that flexibility open. So it's really hard for me to say what teams that, that you should be looking for because Mike Conley is not number one over Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, or even, well, definitely over Russell Westbrook. But, you know you, you know what I'm saying? But you, you guys get what I'm saying, man. I mean, you, you can't. It's hard to value some of these guys, especially when you're talking about where they're going to get traded to. Because, like I said, I can't put Mike Conley over Kevin Durant. But if you guys did enjoy this video, man, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let me know some of your trades packaged down in the comment section. I kind of want to see these. Um, but we'll probably drop some more videos talking about trades especially with the trade market in the NBA. Like I said, it's really weird right now just because it's you have some top, you literally have like three of the top 25 guys in the NBA right now who possibly could be traded at any point in the season. Um, so yeah, man, like I said, it's your boy all day 0511. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you think anybody's getting traded, if you think nobody's getting traded, and uh, 
Yeah, NBA season starting up. Let me know who your favorite team is down in the comment section. I'm out.